What's up, sons? It's Blind Run with Son of a Tech once again, and I've come to the realization that a lot of people don't understand what mining is or what purpose it serves to cryptocurrencies in general. So I'm here to give a quick overview of how mining works and why. So stick around. To start things off, you need to understand what cryptocurrency is, and cryptocurrency is essentially just a digital currency that exists on the internet. It is recorded in a ledger, also known as a blockchain, which is distributed among all users of the currency. All of the users on the currency network have what is known as a digital wallet, which houses all of their current coins and then allows them to complete transactions. The way it is done is that they are assigned an address, which is a public address, and then each person is assigned a password, which is essentially a block within the blockchain assigned specifically towards that person. So if Joe has a digital wallet and he wants to complete a transaction with me to purchase a graphics card, he must now send out a notification to the entire network saying, hey, I want to purchase this or send this currency to X or to Blind Run, right? So at this point, once he's sent that out is where miners come in. So what miners do is they receive the transmission and then they just start to decode or decrypt this transmission with a complicated algorithm to hopefully solve this complicated math problem and then verify the transaction. In return, the miner will receive some currency of whatever currency was being traded. So if it's Bitcoin, then the miner typically receives Bitcoin back. This is also how more coins are created because there's no other way other than fake inflation to create coins. So once the miner has completed the transaction, he sends the signal back to the entire chain, which means the whole network of all users of that cryptocurrency. And then all of those users update their current blockchain or their current ledger with the new entry or the new block. So as you can see, this is why miners do deserve a payout and why it works. Now, to give you guys a few more confusing things here, yes, there is something known as proof of stake and proof of stake is essentially a validation via the stakeholders, which goes to the largest stakeholders. This has been a point of contention in a lot of different currencies, mainly because it does kind of go against the idea of decentralization because the larger the stakeholder, the larger of say they're going to have in said transactions. So stick to proof of work, stick to mining and have a great day. Please don't forget to hit subscribe down below. And as always, I will see you next Tuesday.